so now how water which we get from the tap the water which we drink how it reaches to us what are the various procedures what are the various steps which has to be taken to before the water reaches to us so first one is sedimentation sedimentation filtration okay we'll talk about this too in continuation and the next one is chlorination okay these are the three things sedimentation filtration and chlorination now these three procedures these three steps are major steps okay these are the major steps which water need to be like which, like water need to be treated in this way okay now first of all sedimentation i am sure you all must be knowing about the sedimentation and filtration just i'll give you an idea what is sedimentation see if you take one beaker okay and in this beaker we have taken all dirty water okay in this we have taken dirty water so if we allow it to settle down if we allow if we keep this beaker in that way uh, for some time that means it should not be shaken it should not be moved the water should be still it should be kept in this way only it should be kept undisturbed okay are you getting me if you have taken water and if it is kept undisturbed that is known as what sedimentation this process is known as what sedimentation now children what happens when you keep water undisturbed when you keep dirty water muddy water undisturbed you all know that the heavier particle like the particles of the mud okay some other uh, particles which are heavier than the water will settle down okay and after some time the how the water will look it will look in this way like all all mud all uh, impurities which are which are which is which are heavier than water will settle down and here you can see water okay this is water and this is what impurities okay so this will happen when said when water undergoes the process of sedimentation once again i'll tell you what is the meaning of sedimentation when water is kept undisturbed untouched unmoved okay if water is kept in this way which kind of water is this see you can see it is totally muddy water it's totally dirty water so what will happen whatever impurities are there will settle at the bottom if the impurities are heavier and you will also see in this like whatever lighter particles are there it will come on the surface of the water and it will start what it will start floating on the surface of the water now what can be done? this is sedimentation okay this is what sedimentation after this what has to be done filtration now suppose if you take another beaker empty beaker and in this if you transfer this okay if you transfer this so it is known as what decantation it is known as decantation so when you transfer this water which is now somewhat better than the previous one then this process is known as decantation okay now what will happen in this decantation water will become free of all these heavier particles heavier impurities now what will be there in the water some lighter impurities will be there 
and the cleaner water will be there. Cleaner water will be there and some impurities which are lighter one will be there. Now if you I am talking about a normal procedures ok. Then we will discuss how it is how this process is like sedimentation, decantation or filtration, chlorination it is being done in the plants. Just here I am trying to explain you what is sedimentation, what is decantation ok. Now if you take one flask and you keep filter ok, you can keep filter paper also ok, you can keep filter paper also even you can keep any cloth also ok. Now if you put this water into this what will happen, what is happening over here it is known as filtration, it is known as what filtration that means the water is now being filtered through this cover. It can be filter paper if you if you are talking about laboratory, if you are talking about a, a home then it can be a cloth ok. When water is drawn from here then what will happen all the lighter impurities or whatever leftover impurities are there it will get stuck to this particular uh, paper or cloth ok. And then what will happen? Now whatever water will be there it will be better than the previous one. See in every step of the filtration, in every step of filtration uh, I am so sorry in every step of filtration like uh, when you puri when the water is being purified uh, water will the condition the uh, water will it will the quality of water will keep on becoming better ok. So, this was sedimentation when water was allowed to settle down in this process all the high the heavy impurities will get settled down. When the water is removed it is known as decantation after this water is allowed to filter ok. Now this is known as filtration. Now in this water if you add some uh, chlorine tablets ok then it will be known as what chlorination means to add certain uh, thing which can kill the germs it is known as what like when you are adding chlorine to it. So, what you are adding you are adding something which is going to kill the germs you are adding chlorine. So, it is chlorination ok. So, you know why uh, in this step here after filtration you will see that water is clear after filtration you will feel that the water is clear. Now what is the need of adding chlorine to this? But I would like to tell you one thing. So in this process uh, you will find say like in uh, whenever you see water you feel like it, the water is clear, you feel like water is very good. But you know it is not necessary that always the clean water is good for health because water can be clean but it may have certain dangerous harmful uh, microbes ok which can uh, make you sick which can uh, be very deadly. So it needs to be treated with something which can kill them ok. So that is done in chlorination ok. So, now we will study how this process, see this was just about the explanation of the terms. I explained you with the meaning of sedimentation, then decantation, filtration and even chlorination. Now we will see how this steps, how this procedures, how this process is done in the plants. See in the plants where the water has to be filtered a large tank is there ok from this is what a large tank ok what it is a large tank here water is allowed to come from any water body maybe reservoir maybe river ok. So, water has come into this 
has brought up into this large tank and it is lift like that only ok it is skipped like this only undisturbed untouched like that only so that the process of sedimentation can take place ok. So, here which process is taking place here sedimentation sedimentation is taking place that means water is allowed to be here without being disturbed so that the what will happen all the impurities which are heavier than water will settle down ok. Now, what has to be done now from this tank the water has to be removed ok. Now, water has to be removed it will come out through such kind of pipe and it will go to a tank where the filters are used ok. See I will tell you one thing uh, when the uh, when we talk about tanks I will explain you over here again see suppose this is a tank here water is brought from any river ok. Now, I will write it as A imagine that this is a storage only here only we have stored this is our river or reservoir or whatever ok. So, from here the water has to be brought where in the sedimentation tank this is what our tank where the water has to undergo sedimentation process this will be our B here sedimentation is taking place water will all impurities will settle down. Here you know the pipe will be little bit higher so that only this will be closed ok. Now, here pipe to uh, bring the water out would not be very below ok. Why because if it is below then again the impurities will flow it will be little higher so above this ok. So, that only the clean water can come up over here. Now, it will go to a tank where filtration will take place ok where filtration will take place and here lot of sand gravel ok lot of sand is spread ok what is spread over here lot of sand gravel is spread present in this tank ok now water is here ok this is water and now what will happen here totally it is like lot of sand and gravel is there. Now, what will happen the water what which will come from here it will get filtered how filtered because this opening will be very small ok it will be having certain net or something like that through which only water can flow and this thing will block the movement or the uh, it will block all the passage of all the like uh, it will block all impurities bigger impurities ok. So, now from here again the water is brought up into next tank this can be our tank number C and from here the water is brought into another tank say D ok. Here now water which is which is coming over here is totally what filtered water ok it is clean water when you see this kind of water you will feel that it is clean, but now it has to be treated with chlorine. So, again chlorine is added here and so which process is going on here chlorination. So, chlorination will be uh, this process will be carried out over here and through here through several pipelines it will go this way that way and then it is going to reach your home ok. This is totally a rough sketch ok. I have not uh, drawn according to any levels or anything like that or the size or nothing like that. I have just tried to show you what exactly is being done in the plants 
when we talk about this A, what is this? This is a maybe a storage tank, okay? Maybe the river which I was talking about, maybe the reservoir. That means this is the place from where the water is brought, okay? From here the water is brought here in this tank, which is known as which kind of tank? That is here what will happen here the sedimentation process will take place that means water will be kept like this only for several hours then what will happen happen all higher impurities will settle down this will have an outlet which will be little higher so that only clean water can move out and for all heavier particles will get settled down from here again the water is brought up into a new tank there are lot of sand and gravel is present which is going to stop all big impurities and then water will flow into the next uh, tank. Here chlorine will be added okay, and in this way the process of chlorination will take place. Okay. So, how can we define sedimentation, filtration and chlorination? Sedimentation a process where the water is kept undisturbed for long time so that it can, uh, so that the higher um, heavy particles can settle down. Filtration, if, uh, if we talk about laboratory, uh, paper, uh, paper can be used in the homes, the cloth can be used or a side can be used okay, or in the plants, the sand and gravel is used to block or to stop bigger impurities. Now, this is the next chlorination. The process of adding chlorine to the water is known as chlorination. Okay. Now, after this, the water will come to your own home. Now, when we talk about chlorination, one very important thing is there. Chlorination, it has to be done uh, in certain percentage. If the level of chlorine increase, it will give a particular pungent smell. Typical smell of chlorine will uh, get will arise when you drink water okay which you won't like so uh, that is being taken care of and a particular amount of chlorine is only added okay so excessive chlorine is also harmful actually so all these things are being done in a plant and then the water is supplied to us okay now nowadays we have our own uh, pumps also like filter pumps at our uh, houses even when we talk about any place like bank you talk about schools hospitals colleges classes you will find everywhere a particular filter pump they have their own filter pump what, what kind of filter pump maybe any company aquaguard lip or many are there so all these places at all these places will find one or the other filter uh, uh, plant is there a small filter pump is there okay so how this filter how this uh, regular filters work now we'll talk about these filters okay okay so when we talk about the filters which we use at our home okay so, what is there and how water is filtered in that, uh, those filters, we will just have a look over here. First of all, I would like to say that it is made up of three parts. First is porous candle, okay. Second is second is carbon filter ok and third UV rays. If you understand the three ways or three uh, mechanism ok, three steps what are used you will understand easily water filter pumps and how they work. First, when we talk about porous candle, so what is there, what is being done over here? It stops all the mud, okay. It stops mud 
dust okay and it also stops other kind of impurities okay so first the water flows through the porous candle here whatever dust is of like the present there in the water the amount of mud which is there in the water or certain kind of impurities which are present there in water will be blocked okay from here only the uh, water which is free from all these things will be moving forward now carbon filter what is the function of carbon filter now see impurities are removed okay now there is no impurity neither suspended impurity or no neither dissolved impurity now it works upon the color so the color and like the water is made over here which kind of water like how water is made it is made colorless and odorless okay so this is a second part where the water is made colorless and odorless now we talk about third one which is uv rays see the function of uv rays is to kill the germs hmm? to kill the germs so uv rays kill the germs it kills it kill the germs okay so now now what water you get is pure water okay again i'll talk about this we i'm talking about the filters which are available at our places our homes our maybe shops maybe offices maybe one or the other place where we see that like small filters how do they work first part is made up of porous candle its work is work is to stop all kind of dust impurities and mud second carbon filter see carbon absorbs all kind of whatever leftover impurities are there okay so now uh, whatever whatever impurity by chance whatever is left it will be absorbed over here and so that is the reason now it will become colorless and odorless third part is uv rays now when uv rays when what is is being you know uh, like when the water come across the uv rays what will happen it will kill the germs and then whatever water we get is pure water okay you know uh, before having these kind of filters okay when i used to be uh, like of your age that time also i remember we used to have very clean water first thing at the time the level of pollution was little less okay little less i should say it was very less as compared to today first thing but still we used to get pure water sometimes like if we have uh, uh, due to rains maybe when the when the muddy water used to be there but still we used to always get pure water so that time these filters were not available but still what are what were the things which people used to do at the homes see boiling boiling is oh uh, i should say evergreen process it's a evergreen process when i was of your age at that time also boiling was used this process was used before me also this process was used and now also after so many years also we feel or i should not say we feel we know we know and it has been proved that boiled water is pure water okay so after filtering the water first of all what used to be done at homes like water used to be filtered with the help of the cloth okay water used to be filtered and if the uh, case was like the water is still uh, not very pure people are falling sick then water used to be like what they used to do people used to do people used to boil water okay it is assumed that to boil water okay to boil water for 10 minutes again one contradiction is here like some people say water should be boiled for 10 minutes 
and some believe that water should be at least boiled for 20 minutes ok. But usually we do it for 10 minutes. So, I have written over here 10 minutes like when water is boiled for 10 minutes it becomes free of germs ok. It kills the it kills the germs ok. So, this is also very important process for killing the germs because just to have clean water just to have transparent water colorless and odorless water is not enough ok. Water should be free of microbes, microbes also and germs also which can be done by boiling. Again if you have chlorine tablets ok na? chlorine tablets can be added to the water which again makes the water free of germs. Uh, this is also again an important part in ok. So, this is also very important part as it makes the water free of germs ok. You know uh, some other uh, things can also be used like uh, KMNO4 potassium per magnet even alum can be used ok. So, these things can be used to make the water pure. So, uh, these are the process or these are the steps through which water can be purified. But again I will say when we have to purify the water which we are only making dirty rather we should stop polluting it ok. Now this is also an important part where chlorine can be used ok. In place of chlorine potassium permanganate and alum can also be used ok. See uh, before this also like when we talk about uh, olden days at that time also people used to purify water and how they used to do it you know they used to make three they used to settle three pots ok one above the other ok one this is the second one and then this is the third one ok. Now, the pots were used and each pot used to have very small very tiny hole into this ok. So, three pots they used to keep in this first one they used to fill, fill they used to fill sand here gravel and in this charcoal. Charcoal means what? Again that same carbon which we are using nowadays in the new filters ok. Gravel again like sort of filtration it, it works as a what? It works as a filtration process ok. So, here three pots used to be used one very small tiny hole they used to make into it and then in this process water used to come very slowly drop by drop it used to come and then again one empty vessel used to be here where water used to be uh, water used to be collected over here. So, this was a slow process, but even it was like it uh, it is almost same to what we are using nowadays the methodology is different yeah of course you will are not there, but still the use of charcoal uh, and the use of carbon resembles each other ok. So, these were this was also this was also one of the way to keep water clean. So, uh, this was there in this chapter uh, where we have discussed about the what is the meaning of pollution ok. What is the meaning of uh, like we focused on air pollution and water pollution and we saw many methods you know which uh, or many like many ways which depends upon the government 
how the government is going to uh, focus on these points like maybe like sprinkle irrigation when we talk about maybe uh, like the filtration in the pump maybe the uh, treatment of the sewage water where we cannot play any role but there are certain methods ways which we discussed which are in our hand okay like plantation okay we can plant trees uh, throwing of garbage okay using of carpools I am summing up the lesson okay using of carpools using of public vehicles switching off the lights and fans so like there are many things I agree there are many things which is in the hand of government but believe me there are again many things which are in our hands okay and if we all do it together we can obviously have you know we will get some solution okay we will we'll see results one more thing I would like to focus on whenever you feel like something like you know oh this can reduce pollution please go for that one uh, very simple thing like use of crackers many schools are there you know which uh, which has brought into the notice of their students that burning of crackers or enjoying crackers is not at all a good practice okay Diwali is a very pious festival festival we all agree but it doesn't mean that on this beautiful festival we have to pollute our mother earth no not at all so ban cracker, crackers is also one of the very important uh, thing which we all can do yes which we all can do if you and I decide that no we are not going to burn crackers just imagine how much pollution can be produced ok so uh, even one more thing which I would like to discuss is 3 R what is the meaning of 3 R first of all recycle reuse reduce reduce re, reuse and recycle now what is the meaning of this like reduce your garbage reduce your garbage reduce uh, your reduce throwing the things ok reuse try to you reuse the thing like suppose you have an uh, uh, maybe uh, you know something like a very good speaker which can be uh, uh, repaired and can be used so instead of throwing it just go for the repair just repair it so reduce your garbage reuse the thing again reuse means like say uh, paper use the reuse paper for your rough work isn't it so in this way recycle use the things which can be recycled uh, when you see the packets of the uh, any uh, you know particular anything you will find a sign over there uh, whether it can be recycled or it cannot be recycled ok numbers are there numbers are there which you can see and you can find out like these things can be recycled or not please go for that ok so if you use uh, things which can be again recycled so again uh, it will not increase the garbage it will not be a burden for the earth but rather it will help earth ok and we can help ourselves by reducing the garbage so this was all about the lesson uh, pollution of air and water hope you all have understood now we are going to discuss with the NCRT questions ok so in this chapter we have discussed a lot about water and air pollution and hope while discussing the NCRT questions at least we will uh, be uh, you will be able to judge the answers you will have the answers in your mind ok and along with NCRT questions I will try to solve few more questions also because as I told you earlier also this always gives <coughs> increases the confidence thank you